Hello, how's it going? This is pointing the seven flooded mountains. So pointing seven flooded mountains, and this is pointing. This is where I just go and collect all the collectibles and stuff. So if you don't want to watch that, then I shall see you in the next proper episode. So let's begin. Rocca di Ravaldino. Built with a square plan and imposing corner towers, the fortress was constructed in 1471 by the architect Giorgio Macaresto Florentino at the request of Pino III, the Lord of Forli, then enlarged with the citadel by Girolamo Riario, the new lord. The citadel later became the refuge for Caterina Sforza from an attack by Cesare Borgia, Rodrigo Borgia's bloodthirsty son, in 1500. It was then used as a prison. Doesn't really seem like a fun place to hang out now, does it? Avamposto Veneziano. From Rebecca, one of those strange glyph charm edges on this landmark. You should go find it. Venetian naval strategy involved maintaining a steady chain of bases strung along their trade routes in the east, ensuring that its merchants were able to get there and back without being attacked by the pirates or Venice's enemies the Turks. By the end of the 16th century, Venice's fleet was occupied trying to force Charles VIII of France out of Italy, at which point Turkish forces Struck without warning, Venice was soundly defeated, losing its Greek outposts. Following that, the Turks managed to invade Venetian territory in northern Italy, although Venice was able to keep most of its territory from that point forward. It would never again be a great naval power. Forli, founded in 798,000 BCE by Paleolithic cavemen who were interested in flint manufacturing, Forli has been an industrial centre ever since. The name comes from the Romans, Forum Livili who built the city in 188 BCE along the Villa Amilla, one of the several roads they laid after pacifying the Gauls in the region. After Roman rule, it went from Lambert's hands into the church's hands and then became an independent republic in 889, infuriating the Vatican, which spent the next 400 years trying to get it back. On top of Rome's constant manipulations, Forli had to deal with the steady stream of Goth, Byzantine, Lombard and Frank marauders for the next few centuries, along with annual flooding which was finally brought into control by deviating nearby rivers away from the city centre in 1050. Like most independent republics, Forli became a military dictatorship at the end of the 13th century and then was passed to the Ordifelelli family who, despite having a line with its tongue playfully sticking out as a crest, were not all that cute and nice. In 1480, with the Ordofali fighting amongst themselves over the chain of succession, the Pope stepped in and gave the city to his nephew, Girolamo Riario, but things didn't really go as planned for the Pope. When Girolamo was killed, the city passed to his wife, Caterina Sforza, the Amazon of Forli, who fought tooth and nail to prevent the Vatican from taking control. Ultimately, however, Caterina was vanquished and Forli passed into church hands. Abaisia di San Mercuriali from Rebecca, one of those strange glyph Sean mentions on this landmark. You should go find it. The tower at the Abisi San Mercuriali, with its height of 75 metres, is one of the tallest in Italy. The first church on the site was destroyed in a fire in 1173. The present structure was built with brick in the Lombard Romanesque style and took only seven years, making it one of the most miraculous construction jobs in the history of Italy. The colonnade to the right of the church is part of the Abbey's cloister. Palazzo Comunal. Built in 1000 around an existing tower, the Palazzo Comunal was enlarged in 1412 and bought by the Olfadi family, the heads of Forli. Their rule was marked by excessive violence, culminating in the reign of Pino III Olfali, who murdered his brother for the throne, killed his first wife, his mother and his second wife, before being murdered by his third wife. Oh yes, I almost forgot to mention, he was also a great patron of the arts. Fast Travel Station. From Rebecca. You have to pay to ride the ferry. Venice is situated on a series of islands surrounded by a lagoon, requiring travellers arriving or departing take a Tragahet ferry. Tragahet came in all sizes, from the small ferries that shuffle people around the city to large ships that carry passengers to and from the mainland. Tragaheto stations were run by guilds, which enacted all kinds of laws to make sure they only the most connected members had the lucrative privilege of working at a station. Each station had its own rules, which would range from allowing only people 40 years of age and older to work there, to forcing pilots to only carry 10 passengers per ship. La Volpe. Date of birth, unknown. Profession, thief. There is almost no trace of La Volpe, the fox, in the history books. The name's obviously a pseudonym, but for whom is anyone's guess? What small data is available seems to be almost mythical. La Volpe is reported to have robbed the Pope's carriage without any of the guards noticing, including the Pope 
who was sitting inside the carriage. One night in 1467, he was seen on the rooftops of the Palazzo della Signoria, the Palazzo Medici and Santa Grosce all at the same time. Some claim that he's immortal, never aging, while others say that his violet eyes can see through buildings, perusing the contents inside. Giuliano de' Medici, date of birth 1453, profession noble. The playboy to his brother Lorenzo's statement, Giuliano de' Medici was well known for his famous jousting tournaments, his handsome physique and his illegitimate child. When Giuliano was killed in the Patsy Conspiracies, his son, Giulio, was considered legitimate due to the loophole in canon law that allowed marriages to occur privately between two people, meaning that his parents could have agreed that they were actually married without telling anyone about it. Watch out Catholics, your mistresses have more power than you think. Once legitimately a Medici, the child of a tradesman's daughter went on to become Pope Clement VII. Get this, Clement VII was Pope during the sack of Rome in 1527, during which he was taken prisoner in the Castel Sant'Angelo. He escaped his capture disguised as a tradesman. Son of tradesman's daughter escapes poor past to become Pope, only to become a tradesman once more. Oh, the irony. Lorenzo de' Medici, date of birth 1449, profession ruler of Florence. Simultaneously keeping the dream of the Florentine Republic alive while leaving the people with very little legitimate power, Lorenzo de' Medici deftly ruled Renaissance Florence during its golden age. Lorenzo's grandfather, Cosimo, built the Medici Bank, creating one of the most powerful financial institutions in Europe and becoming fabulously rich in the process. Considered the smartest of Cosimo's grandchildren, Lorenzo was already being sent on diplomatic missions as a child. Although his father was inept and sickly, his mother was a poet. She introduced Lorenzo to many of the prominent artists of the day, instilling in him a love of art and culture. In 1469, when he was only 20, Lorenzo became the head of the Medici family, at which point he quickly gained control of the Florentine government through Fensner City Council payoffs strategic marriages and threats, but Florence prospered with Lorenzo as its puppeteer. A peace was made between its warring states of Italy and several masterpieces of Renaissance art by the likes of Botticelli and Michelangelo were made under his care. Ultimately, Lorenzo was happier writing poetry and shadow governing than directing his family bank. During his lifetime, several branches of the bank collapsed and the Medici assets were wasted on frivolities such as jousting tournaments. Lorenzo died in 1492, nearly broke. He was unable to prevent the popular backlash against his rich lifestyle and the mad monk Savonarola's rise to power. Poliziano, date of birth 1454, profession, scholar, poet. Somewhat of a prodigy, Poliziano learned Latin and Greek at age 10 and by 18 he had already become a published author. Lorenzo de' Medici hired him to act as the tutor for his children and made sure he received a poet at the Studio Florentino. Unfortunately, Poliziano may not have been everyone's favourite instructor. He died of arsenic poisoning in 1494, probably murdered by Piero de' Medici, his former student. Time for the codex pages now, we've got one, so that's page 21. One may cultivate extracts from various plants found throughout the region. More exotic species can sometimes be obtained from traders and travellers, but their properties are less documented and require further examination. Traditional alchemic improvements can be made to distill the poison. Care should be used, but as certain poisons can be absorbed from exposed skin, many are those who have lost their lives to carelessness. One's blade should be hollowed according to the specifications listed herein. Deviation may create fractures from within the metal, causing the blade to weaken and possibly break. And then we've got a picture, which is quite hard to see. But you can see it's all how they, how they dissected the blade and put all the poison plants in and stuff like that. Because, of course, they decided to use it in the end because they realised that, you know, nothing is true, everything is permitted. Go. Right. It's going to be a hell of a hard time to try and sync this up later because I have no indication of where I started. I know I started nine minutes in, but I don't know if that's actually going to work. So are you ready for a big, massive one-hour pointing... Well, more than one hour, one-hour pointing... Pointing episode. I've got a big cup of tea because I needed a big one, not the small one, the big one. And this is going to be hell because I've already run out of things to say. Oh no, it's going to be fun. Yeah, I have literally have no idea what to say. <laughs> it's a great start, it really is. Yeah, so this is called Flooded Mountains. I realised the irony of that after I picked a name. Because, you know, you think about it. When it's flooded, the mountains usually don't get flooded because they're higher up. But in this case, <laughs> Flooded Mountains, yeah. It works. It works. So what we're doing, I 
I'm lost. So I'm going to the viewpoints. I'm still doing the viewpoints. Oh, wow, we've got lots. This is a big episode. Wow, so we've not even done the viewpoints and we've already finished all the database entries. This is great. I've also got another one of these as well to do. This is the Venice one. Because, oh, this is because this is just going out today, isn't it? Because we do go to Venice soon. So I suppose that's what we can talk about. A little look at what's about to come next week. So next well, the week coming up, starting tomorrow, for those that watched it when it came out. Uh, where do we going to do? We're going to be going to Forley. Staying in Forley. Staying in Forley. Uh, we've got a lot of uh, side missions to do. I think there's how many we've got four episodes. I think there's two episodes of side missions to do. You can see there's a load there, which we do all them, which is not obviously. Well, that's not the best thing to do, but there's loads to do. Like we've obviously got the assassination contracts, which is going to be a pain. Or well, I can tell you, it's going to be a pain. But we get it all done, and there's no sound with the horse. The horse is the silentest horse I've ever had. It's rather beautiful, really. It's not actually, it's really creepy. I don't like it. It sounds like the game's frozen. Go on, get off the horse. And make sure it sounds like a sound. I'm going to have a cup of tea. I really need one. Ah. And I apologise if I sound really tired. It's because I am really tired. Just so you know. Right. So it looks like the bog standards are just climbing up the tower. Nothing new. We've got any interest coming on. But yeah, side missions we're doing. What else do we do? We do, the we do the main missions and we do get to go outside the Animus as well, which is surprising. Because I wasn't expecting it. After all this time, I'm say I was saying, yeah, we're coming out of the Animus. And we didn't. And then we did. Right when I didn't expect it. Which is, a sh which is, it was good and it was bad. It was like a bittersweet moment sort of thing. But no, yeah, we finished this week of just getting to Venice and then obviously sometime this week. Yeah, I would imagine it'd be sometime this week. Oh no, next week, because this is out on a Sunday, so sometime next week. Sometime next... Well, I suppose this is coming out late Sunday, because it's Sunday now when I'm recording this. Sometime within the next seven days, that'll work. Yeah, we'll get it, I think, so. We do sort of go to Venice and do the pointing as well. Which will be hopefully quite good. Pepper Cookies is coughing in the background, if you can hear her. Right. Again, lost things to say, I don't know. I've just watched someone who's uh, Irish and done a video, so whenever I sort of listen to my voice in my head, it doesn't sound right. Because it's, it sounds like it should be Irish, but it's not. And I don't dare do my accent. I, I do accents quite good when I'm not recording. When I'm recording, I'm like... What's the word? Not tongue-tied, but... I, I panic. I don't like it. Right, just barge through. No, I actually really can't... No, I barge through. I was going to say, I'm really kind and let them go, but no, I actually, I just barge through with the horse. Throw my horse's weight around. Which, you can do. It's it's a thing there. And I do realise that there's something I was going to mention, which I can't... Yes, I can! Ha-ha! Perfect time in Leonardo. Yes, you can see we're on the other side of the map to where Leonardo is, yet for some reason we can still hear him. All I can say is Lorenzo... Lorenzo Leonardo has a fine set of lungs... As uh, our father would say before he passed away. <laughs> so sad. Right, my voice is. <laughs> my throat is really killing me. Uh, this cup of tea hopefully help. <sighs> Maybe. It still sounds a little bit of a thing. Oh, we're going inside. That's good. So, a little bit of a breakdown of Forley. Forley is a nice little city. I have mentioned a few times I don't like it. But uh, it's definitely better than Tuscany. That I've come to that conclusion. There's nowhere near as many towers. Which is good, but it gets very annoying when you have to climb up them. All of them at like two second intervals. Uh, which is good. So that, oh, he's praying. Leave me be! I do not want to hurt you. Uh, yeah, so obviously you don't have to climb up all the towers, which is a good bonus. Uh, outside... Oh, ew, I'm going to pop my filter then. Outside the water... I don't know, it doesn't really hinder you. I mean, looks-wise, it looks depressing and dark and dank, but it's actually a really nice city. I like the inside because it's quite small, so it's easy to get around, which, you know, it's one of those things where people say, oh, I want a massive game that I can explore and stuff like that, but then they like small things that are easy to get to because it's that sort of, you know, it's that thin line between the option to explore and the actual desire to explore. Where, you know, obviously, I want to explore these giant lands, but I don't want to be walking around for five miles 
trying to get uh, to where I want to go. You know, you don't want that really, do you? You want it to be easy easy access to stuff. Like Fall is quite a decent sized map, I think. I mean, obviously most of it is outside the city. But it's a nice little mix, it's a nice little thing, because it's big, yet it's still sort of condensed, so it's easy to get to things. Which is always nice. But then I guess you can also blame that, sorry, I'm moving the microphone if it's making noise. You could also blame that on the mission design and all them. Is it the mission design? I think it's the mission design where they obviously where they place all the things like like, like when they did the assassinated contracts from next week, uh, one of them is inside the city, then it goes outside, then there's only one outside, then you go back into the city, and the next one's straight outside again. Like, that is bad. You should do, say, first three inside the city, then the next two outside, then the, uh, the rest of them could be inside. So, so, so it takes you to different places, like a questing hub sort of thing. I'm going to have to sort out. I'm going to have to sort out my headphones because the wire is on top of the boom mic, so it's probably knocking against it and making a horrible noise. So it's, pardon me if you can hear some bangs to the pop filter and the stuffs. There we go, that should be alright now. If I'll move that wire bit down a bit more. There we go. Ambizi Sendi Marakul. I don't remember that one. What is that one? Is that the... I actually don't know. <laughs> I know I've just read them off. Uh, obviously I haven't read it myself personally. I read it a few days ago, but I can't remember what this place is. Obviously it's the monastery. But I can't remember what it says. Oh, and something else that someone pointed out. I don't know the name. I'm, I'm sorry I don't know your name. Uh, I will obviously, I'll probably correct myself in the main game as well. But someone mentioned that it's not a pigeon coop, which is it's pronounced a pigeon coo, which to me is stupid. Why would you put C O U P when there's another similar thing with a chicken coop where it's C O O P, where it's still got a P on the end? I know it's probably something like not, probably not French, but it's something like that. And it's just, why? Why would you confuse language? Why would you make it so hard to understand these things? But yeah, it's a pigeon coo. Oh, we call it the palace anyway. I think I'm going to shorten it to the palace because the palace of West Birding sounds a bit... I was going to say weird, but this whole thing's weird. We're going to shorten it to the palace right now. I don't know where to go here. You can see I'm sort of having trouble, but I do realise in the end that you can do that. By the way, I love Venice. I, I come to that conclusion when I got there and went through the pointing and like climbing the towers and everything. It's, it's amazing. Venice, I think, is definitely my favourite city. More so than Florence, which I didn't think... I thought Florence was my favourite, but no. Venice is definitely my favourite city at the moment. In the game, I mean in real life, it's probably going to be... I don't know, Rome maybe, I suppose. I don't know. Having never been... But one day. One day I promise you I will go. Alright, Tommy. Nice to meet you. I wonder if this is the tallest point in Forley. And considering there's only two viewpoints, I'm guessing it must be one of the two. There's a horrible fog coming in as well. Interesting. Right. So a little bit of information that we've learned from the database is that we know that the flooding around Forley uh, was actually stopped soon, I think. I don't think it's quite happens in the game, but soon. Ooh. We're going to buy a treasure painting map. We're going to buy a treasure map. I think we're going to skip in a minute to a... Ah, yes. We go to the Alpine Mountains. No, oh, Appendia Mountains. Because I need to go and get those treasures there. There's a few treasures. So we'll go and get them. Okay. Map acquired Forley. Good. I think I'm going to skip, because I go to the Alpine Mountains first. There we go. So now I'm at the mountains. I think I'm with Shadow. I think. I believe so. We are with Shadow. A pure, pure Shadow. A clean Shadow, I suppose you should say. Because he's got no markings on him, apart from his hair. Oh, I can hear something. Is that the treasure? Oh, no. Failed. Is it the treasure? Oh, it is. I didn't realise they made that noise as well. Uh, I thought that was just the feathers and like the gifts and stuff. Right, so there's Shadow is stuck in between the two barrels. Or well, three barrels, should we say? Yeah, that's a drink. Three barrels. Three barrels. Three barrels. I can't speak to that. What's that called? What was that called? Is that? I don't think it's tongue tied. It's something like that. A lisp? Not a lisp. It's not a lisp. That's more. That's different. It's more of like a temporary thing. Well, like it's like I'm chewing on my own tongue when I talk. I guess we'll say that. Well, if it's not called that, it's called that now. Cause it's, I'm going to call it that. I'm not sure if it's the video or if it's because I'm playing something that's on a hard on a external hard drive. But the video looks a little bit grainy. Like there's some sort of filter on it that doesn't need to be there. I don't know if it's on the actual video, maybe it'll be different when it's on YouTube. I know. 
it can do that, but we'll check. I'll check it out when I upload it. I'm sure you all will let me know as well. Because obviously these are settings fit for YouTube, not really for big screen off YouTube viewing thing. Ah, but it's lovely here. Again, I'm actually, I was actually really disappointed because I mentioned earlier when about the. I thought there was going to be like a system where you could travel ferry people across on carriages and you can obviously get paid for that. But uh, I was actually disappointed we didn't have that because obviously you don't have to do it. It's just a way of getting money. But that would have been really good. I would have enjoyed that. Indeed, I would. I would shadow. I would enjoy that. Fun fact about Shadow, actually. There's a reason why I've called him Shadow. Like, I'm guessing you might think I would call him Teed. Like the name of the other horse I got. Because obviously the whole T thing, you know, it's a, it's a thing. But no, what happened was, uh, I think Assassin's Creed Brotherhood was coming out. And there was a trailer where the music was, I burn my shadow away. And, and on the video, he was riding the horse to Rome. Or to somewhere, which we'll see in Brotherhood. He was riding his horse to some place. And I was doing Assassin's Creed one at the first time. I think I was getting some flags. Uh, and obviously I go for the black horse. And I think that's just where it started. It just went from there. So they see, see, these things happened before they even happened in the video. There's a long and prosperous history between everything that happens. It's all about the cause and effect and things that happen. What is that? Is that like a thunderstorm? Like a cartoon one? I have no idea. Right, let's get to the mighty Tommy Tower. Stationed in the mountainside. I don't, I don't know if I like the mountains or not. I think I do. Maybe. I like the fact I can ride my horse all the way up here. That's great. I tell you what, everything just reminds me of the new Telltale games with the Game of Thrones one, which I really want to check out. But uh, I'll have to try and... I Because um, obviously my whole rules about games like don't start another game until I finished one to help me get through <laughs> basically all that rule just came up because of Skyrim like I played Skyrim for like 100 hours and then I decided to play something else I think it was Assassin's Creed I think it was Assassin's Creed actually it was Assassin's Creed 3 uh, and then I did that and then I just forgot what I was doing as Sir Eric Skyrim so I just restarted which I didn't do now I did leave it for a longer period of time and I didn't restart it then but you know it's just my silly rules I'm just foolish and stupid and idiotic I mean, I've got, I've got stuff to do. I want to play different games. You know, I want to want to sort of have a, a series where it's more to do with recent games because obviously that obviously people send me that. Oh, you, you more subscribers you, if you do recent games and not old games and stuff like that. I do understand that. Like, I do know that is the, a reason. It's not all of it, but it's, it's one reason. But I do understand that and. I guess it shows that I don't really mind about not having as so many subscribers. Like I, I like that we all have like a community. Like one or two amazing people, which is you and you and you and you and everybody watching this. Like they are more important than a bunch of them, and I really do mean that. Like I'm, if I ever get loads of subscribers, it'll be hard to do what I do at the moment because I won't be able to do mention money because it'll be too hard. It'll be too many people if that happens, and it you know it's just one of those things that'll be it'll be more difficult. But I'll, yeah, it's quite nice with a few amount of subscribers, but. I'm not saying I wouldn't like loads of subscribers, but you know, I enjoy every little bit as it happens. Yeah, if that makes sense. I'd be happy about the amount of subscribers I've got now, which I am. I'm very happy. Although it's it's not annoying, but it's frustrating how a thousand it keeps. Like I keep getting a thousand, and it goes down again, and it's <laughs> it never sort of settles. So it's like when someone says, "Oh, how many subscribers?" You, I'm like, 999. It's like, "Wouldn't you say thousand? It's not the same. <laughs> it's not the same. It doesn't really matter that much, but." It's just those little things, you know. It's interesting. It's like I don't, I don't. I'm not religious, but I find religion interesting. Like the Pope, I like the Pope. Like the whole sort of, what's it called? Not the Parliament. That's something completely different. Papacy. Like I like the, not that I like the idea of it, but I find it interesting. It's just all these things. I find it interesting. That doesn't necessarily mean I believe in it. Like, do I believe that there was a man? Oh, oh man. That, you know, was the son of God? No, I don't think so. Like to me, that just sounds like a story that was been told over and over again, and it's been embellished or embezzled. But that's just my opinion, you know. Everyone's got different opinions, and the sooner you realise that, the sooner you will be happy in life. YouTube is a big thing. It helps you understand that. Like 
making videos, you understand that everyone has different opinions and everybody sees things differently and stuff like that. Like, which is it's always a good attitude to have when you're doing videos. It helps when you read comments as well. When did this turn into like a thing? This is taking way too long in the mountains. I did consider. I did consider. I did consider. Uh, speeding it up, but then I think it defeats the whole point of pointing because I want to do pointing so I can show the levels in case you want to see every little bit of it like like this normally. Which to me, you know, if I'd never seen this game, I would like to see this. Like this is the sort of thing I would like to see. That's it's always what this is. It's a vision of what you would like as a maker. So that's why I keep it in because you know I, you might want to watch this. I'm guessing most of you probably don't, and probably in fact every single one of you probably doesn't. But you know, that's what I, I wanted. I wanted to do it that way. I wanted to show it off. I mean, it does look beautiful. I mean, it doesn't really look nice at the de at night, but you can't really see anything. But in the day, it's lovely. Like, there's a, bit, a few little overlooks so we can sort of look into the valley. It looks really good. I don't know if I'm going to look in one now. I think it's around here, actually. So I think this is one of them. I think this is one, but you can't really tell because it's a bit dark. But yeah, looking out there with the sun, it looks lovely. Got this old little thing here. It's really cool. And I like how sort of things stick in your head as well, because when I was doing this, I was watching, you. well not watching, I was listening to them, uh, YouTube videos, I was watching that and I was watching uh, like an old Diablo 3 video I think uh, where they were talking about what's her name, I don't know I've never played Diablo so I don't know her name but the girl, which uh, name escapes me mm, yes, that one oh, it's going to kill me until I get it right I'm going to have to try and think about it, what is it it's something Something that goes along the lanes of not tr not Trish, <laughs> something completely different, which is sort of late related but not quite related. Leah or Leia, not Leia, <laughs> Star Wars. Leah, I think it is, uh, where her mother was a witch, and they said they they explained that at that point. Then, so that sort of ruin thing. Just like when I get there, I think of like that situation, like it was a witch's cottage or something like that. It's just funny how things like that stick in your head. Now, I don't know if I'll remember that next time I go past it, but some things have happened before when that's happened. Now, I can't think of what off the top of my head now, but it has happened. Maybe like the shadow thing, but then I've sort of not forgotten that was the reason, but I don't remember that every time I say shadow, but I don't know. Just a mad, mad world we live in. You are good. Yeah, I think I was checking to see if I was going the right way. Ah. There is a trophy later on, or achievement as well, depending on what you're playing on, where you have to wear a certain cape in every city, uh, every region. Uh, and the one th common mistake people don't do is they don't come to the mountains to wear it. That's the mistake I had. So remember that. But obviously, I won't tell you what cape it is yet because we don't have it. I don't want to spoil it. Hello, I'm here in this mountain town, little mountain village. What am I doing? I don't think there's many around here, so. Yeah, I'm soon to get it done. Oh, we chopped his broom. Makisa, what is he doing? We have got so much longer in this video. It's not even halfway through yet. My lord, I'm going to probably die by the end of this. I mean, I did want to do this as like a test because I want to sort of improve the videos and like all that sort of thing, but I don't know what, how to do it. Like, more specifically, the content of these gaming videos. Like, I don't know how to do it. Like, I don't know. Like, more energy maybe into it. Like, I don't I don't know. Obviously, I watch the videos and I don't know how I like, if I like them or not, because it's me, so I don't like it. You know, I have that instant rejection to it. Like, ooh, it's my voice. Like, that sort of thing. I think I'm just checking. Treasures. Yes. Now we're in Forley. So it's hard for me to tell what I like and, and don't like because I can't tell because I obviously won't like it. It's natural reaction. So I tried to work it out like I don't know. Like last week's, I was just, not this, last week. This week's is coming up. Uh, I'm talking more. I'm talking every second sort of thing. Which uh, when I was doing it, it sounded better because obviously I was constantly talking. Like I'm doing a few bits like that now, and it makes like to me it, that's, that's probably better. I think I think that's maybe better. But then I don't know if it is because it's my own voice, so I don't know if that's it. I don't know. I don't know what the perfect bit is. So I'm trying to work it out, but it's hard to do it on my own. I get a feather as well. Well done, feather. Notice we get we get something when we get to 50 feathers as well, by the way. Just let you know. It's a little thing of coming up next week. 
Yeah, but it's hard. One one day I'm going to try and make a video, uh, like saying that like, it's, it's the big call up time where everyone's got to sort of pitch in and time to put in your ma mark on the videos and what you like and what you dislike, what you want more of, what you would like to see, and that sort of thing. Like, yeah, you know, this is this is my sort of thing, my videos and everything. So, you know, it's my vision, so to speak. <laughs> but then you're the ones watching these, so you have a part in it as well. It's, it's like it's like it's like these videos are a baby and like. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to finish that analogy. Actually, I'm going to I'm going to leave it there and walk away before I probably get a restraining order or something like that. But it's like it's like that sort of thing. Like, it's, they're mine, but they're yours as well. You know, they're not completely mine. I don't have full custody of them. <laughs> I'm going to shut up now. Talk about the tree. That's a lovely tree. Very interesting tree. Now we're going to have a little whole tangent about trees. I mean, trees are nice. They look beautiful trees. And here we go. Here is the subject that is going to take us on the tangent of trees. Funny thing, you can't actually climb trees in Assassin's Creed. The only thing you, people probably can climb in real life. I know, you know what I mean, but it's quite interesting, really, isn't it? Maybe they'll rectify that in a later game. But it, I suppose, it, as a, from a design standpoint, it's quite hard to do trees. If you think buildings are simple, they're square or at least squarish or uniform, and you know. More man-made, so to speak, but obviously a tree, it's all shape all shapes and sizes and stuff like that, so it'll be harder to sort of do it so you can climb it up. Although they do f they may might fix it in a future Assassin's Creed game. I suppose for the time being. It's a no. It's a no from me. But I like climbing trees. Well you can't. Have I ever climbed a tree? I think I've climbed a tree. It's probably one of those things that you're supposed to do before you're 10 or something, but like, climb a tree! I think I did, but I didn't get very far. Or did I? I can't remember. I know as a kid I used to live in the woods. <laughs> this makes me sound like some sort of... Like, like, even like a hermit or something like that. Like, like a woodsman. I used to I was raised by wolves! In the UK, yeah. That sounds right. Why are they bringing wolves back? I think they're bringing wolves back to the UK. Because, fun fact... Wolves used to live in the UK, but they got extinct because we killed them all. Sorry about that. No, I meant to. Like, I used to play in the woods a lot. I like. I love how the horses just walk through guards, and the guards don't care. They're like, oh, stupid horse. Oh, he's a funny little horse. He's walking straight past. He doesn't know what he's doing. Little do they know, they're following their master. Me. <laughs> I will eat you. So many chests. We're coming up. To, oh, I think we're over halfway now. Oh, wow. Woo! Halfway! Sorry for a very long episode, but we've, we sort of left pointing for ages and it just sort of all accumulated. He's brushing, he's sweeping. Gonna sweep, sweep, sweep. Gonna sweep. The deck? Decking. Oh, he's whistling. He's a jolly man. Right. There's a guy fishing over there as well. I suppose it's a nice time to sort of fish. When the flood's in. Although I'm pretty sure the flood is dangerous and unhygienic because it would bring up all the sewage. But then again, back in these times, you can hear banging, I'm sort of banging my arms and my armrest. Back in these days, what was the sewage system? I do believe they just put it straight into the, the river or the sea or anything like that. I can't jump that. Shadow, why can you not jump that? You surely should. Wow, he actually did. Wow. <laughs> I didn't think he did. Wow. Impressive. Impressive, sir. What did you say? Spade. Spade. Dig. <laughs> Find me the treasure. Do I look like a digging horse? I am not a digger. I am a horse rider. So I was trying to think of something to do with Ghost Roll or something like that or something. Something along them lines, but I couldn't think of anything, so I gave up and then told you about it. Now I'm talking about how I talk, gave, gave up and talked about it. See, that must be the river down there, because that's sort of like, it's got a natural bank already. And that must be what's flooded. As in, caused all of this that I'm walking in now. Because that can't be the river. Shut up, Leonardo, you're not that far away, actually, no, never mind. Yeah, it's just over there. Near the fast travel station. 
Ezio, we're here. Over here. Oh, oh, oh dear. I suppose back on the topic of uh, talking about how to make my videos better. Like I'm thinking maybe not dial down the naming of things. Like that's definitely I don't. I'm definitely gonna do that. Like that is my shtig or sh thing, you know. It's my thing. It's my baby thing. But um, like say Palace of West Birding. Like that sounds a little bit weird. Like if you just think about it, if you're just new there and you're like, what the hell is that? You know, it might get a little bit. You know, it might be confusing. Obviously, most of you have watched all of these, so you know what it is, but... So, instead of Palace of West Bend, you just call it the Palace. The Pigeon Palace. Because that way, it's got pigeons in it. And it's big, like a palace. You know, it's one of them things. Yeah, it's just all these things that I think about when I'm not doing anything. Am I standing in a window? I'm standing in an empty window. Oh, this is a thing there. No, I think it was an empty window. I'm having a real hard time trying to climb that tower. Just climb it, you fool! Oh, itch my ear. Sorry about that. Why am I having so much trouble with it? I know how to climb it. You, you go around to the front. Oh, or you can do that. Or you can try and be clever and actually fail, you idiot. You stupid idiot! Right. Climb up the borders. I wonder why this is all boarded up. I think, I think this, isn't, this isn't a Palazzo Communal, I don't think. Or maybe it is. I think it might be, actually. Oh, land on the horse. Come on, you can do it. No, okay. Fair enough. Close enough. Okay, so where am I going to now? There's one right over here, apparently. There it is. Ah, hello, Mr. Box. It's a box. It's got some money inside. Thank you kindly. I don't think there's any on that big lighthouse, so I think we're fine. There's one over by the docks. And there's quite a few. I think I've seen how many I've got left. So much to do. I was trying to work out if that was inside. Oh no, that was the next feather, actually. It's the next feather. Nah, that's what I was doing. I was trying to work out what the next one is. It's roughly about there-ish. But I think that's actually inside hey, the city. Hey. So I'll get that later. I think that's how we end it this week, actually. Or this episode. Oh, so stay tuned for that. Yeah, yeah sadly, Sadler doesn't like to go on the... Doesn't like to go on the, the docks. Oh, Leonardo. I don't know why. I wonder if that's a bug or if it was intended to be like that. Like, the whole thing, he's going, Ezio, here, over here. Hello, here, here, here. Hello, here, here. <laughs> it's like Navi. Hey, listen, listen. Here! Ezio! Here! Over here! He is working on a flying machine, we know that much. Here. Nah, maybe he's, maybe he's the prequel cursor to Navi. Do you think... That's actually... In, whoa! He, he, he got a bit scared there, I wonder what happened. Do you think Navi was called Navi because it is navigation, like... Obviously a sat-nav or something like that. Like never, he's, do you think that's actually how it was? Yeah! So it's not really for navigation, is it? It's more like helpful hints. I wonder why they named it Navi. I wonder what possessed them to call it Navi. I'm having trouble figuring out where to go. I do that. When I'm thinking, I'm like going, where do I go? Just trying to keep up the momentum. If that makes sense at all. Like a panic. Can't get through the water. Why are you not a swimming horse? All I want is an aquatic seahorse. Is there a game with a seahorse in it? I'll play that game if there's a game with a seahorse in it. I maybe might play it, I maybe not, I might not play it. Oh, so many cards around. There's a tree, there's another tree, there's a tree. And I'm stuck. Oh, it's a pickpocket. No, oh, this guy annoys me. It's the only thing, these pocket pick, 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 pickpockets always seem to be in the same places and they always seem to be in the most annoying places, like the places where it takes forever to get to them. Oh, yes. But he kind of doesn't know I'm here. Because he doesn't move. I'm sorry. Can we talk about it? Which is oh, I fell in the water. Great. Didn't mean to do that. Success. You have obtained the robber's money as well as your own. Sadly, he only had three florins. Right. Continuing on with the adventure, I think I go to just to check to make sure where that feather is, which I know it's not there because I've. This is the future. 
And this is the past. I know it ruins the magic of the movie theatres, but it, it's, it's the truth. It's the truth. Right, just, just go and collect the treasures, you'll come back to it, I'm sure you will. Oh, 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 oh. Merry February. Oh, it is the first today, isn't it? Pinch punch first of the month. No returns. Punching a kick for beans are quick. Although technically it's after midday, so you can't do it now. Ha! Okay, so I like I like this one. It's under the poles. Some guys happy to see me running around. Oh, it's a drunken guy. Of course it is. And he's singing. you butchered and. I still haven't listened to them songs. Whoa, Shadow, you... That's a very beautiful sight. <laughs> if I was doing the video thumbnails, I would... As in, ones from the actual video, I would choose that. No, I make, my, I make my own, sort of. In a way, kind of. Not really. Yeah, you know. Right, I was supposed to be doing podcasts today as well, but I don't think I'm going to have time. So that's the second week in a row, where I won't be doing it on a Sunday. I'm doing it on Monday, but at least, at least I got Monday sort. No, I haven't got Monday off. At least I don't have work on Tuesday, so I can stay up later on a on a Monday. Because it's weird. Because I always like to try and up, uh, edit every video before Sunday, so I can record the podcast and have all the names of the videos coming out that week. Although that's silly because Saturday and Sunday are two days where I oh, well not Saturday, Sunday, but Friday night and Saturday night I can't stay up later to edit them. Like tonight, I can stay up to, to like really early, uh, so I can get them done. But I can't on those other days, so. You know, it's one of those things where it's my rule, but it's a silly rule. It has no promise. Or promise. I love it. And no uh, premise. Premise, not promise. There's no premise to it. Like it's better to do it say on the Monday, but then it means I'm rushing to edit it to get it out because then I've got to upload another video after that. It's all the problems of scheduling. You must find the right way to schedule. Like I said, plan. The devil is in the detail, and God is in the planning. Nearly done though. And we've got outside of four, five, six or so outside. That's not too bad. Oh, I didn't work. <laughs> Always try to jump on a horse and it never works. I can try forever and it still never works. Can I jump over that? I cannot, can I? I can, just not in the direction I wanted to do it in. Where is that place? Is that another lighthouse? It is another lighthouse. Interesting. I've never climbed that one. I would like. That's an interesting to think. I've never actually climbed that one. I wonder if it's like a, some sort of super secret secret at the top. It's probably not because it would be. You know, it would have said, but. It's a shame. Sometimes it's nice to have like little secrets. Just like hidden away places. Even if it's just like a secret painting. <gasps> secret collectible paintings that you could put in the villa. That would be a good thing to do. If this game hadn't been come out ages ago, I would have suggested that, but it's kind of already out. It kind of has already been out for so, so long. So the guards over there. I didn't see the guards. Guards, what are you doing? Where am I going now? Have I not, have I not put a map on my map? A thing on my map? Have I not? Am I... Am I risking it? Am I risking going to find it on my own? Oh no, that's impossible. Then, ah oh, no, I remember. I was saying, if I just follow the road, I'll find it. It'll come on the minimap. Which it did, to be fair. <laughs> to be sure. Right, continuing on then. I think, I think the rest of them are just on the main path now. So it's pretty easy to see. Oh, what's that on the floor? What was that on the floor? Was that, was that some sort of... Oh, that's one there as well. It must be rubbish. That, there, there it is. That thing there. It's like... It's like... It's like a... I don't know. It's got like a... Oh, it's a jug. It's the same jug over and over again. Excuse me, people. Contextual camera. Interesting. Oh. Ah. Pardon me for yawning. You're not boring me, I'm just tired. Although maybe I'm boring you. Maybe. It is a bloody hour long. 
And maybe you like longer episodes. I don't know. What do you prefer? Longer episodes or shorter ones? Or more of them? It's like more multiple, more short ones or less longer ones. As in, oh, more videos but short, more videos but shorter, longer videos but less. That makes sense. I think. I hope. I hope it did. Are we going inside the city now? Indeed we are. Do I skip ahead or do I ride to the entrance? It appears that I ride towards the entrance. I think it's probably because the video wasn't 20 minutes long. Nice, nice pile of rocks. It's a very rocky rock pile of rocks. I wish I had a rock pile like that. My rock pile is insignificant compared to that rock pile. I have a very vast rock collection. Limestones. Rhine stones. Blood stones. Pink stones. Pinks that... Uh, pinks. Stones that grow on stones. Stones is, stones is in the shapes of other stones. Right, see you later, Shadow. I'm going in. I think... Ah, I did cut away. I remember. Could have done that before I entered the city, but oh well. Alright, let's get to work. Let's go collect treasures. Do... Ah. Oh, sorry. Do the pointer's work. Do what a pointer does best. Try to inject my blade into the chest. <laughs> Tell me where the other chests are, chest. Right, try to do air assassination. Got two of them. Killed a captain and a weak one. There's still two captains left. Whoa! That guy's head just exploded! Didn't even touch him that time. First time again. Nice. Come on. Oh, he kicked me. How dare he. That's it. Good work. Philosophical Codex pages, they require they require health. <laughs> you have to give blood for blood magic. No 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 no. No. They simply give you health. So the opposite of taking health from you. They are very good at doing that, they give you health. Lots of health. I've got a secret feeling that maybe you can still unlock philosophical codex pages but they don't give you health because you already have max health. I think. At least that's, a, that's, a, that's a thing I seem to remember. There is a single guard up here. What is he doing? Dying, that's what he's doing. Well, he's dead, but he's not. No, he's dead. I'm going to take this treasure and continue moving on. 272. 10 away from 262. One day. One day I will find the 262 chest. Palazzo Communal. What am I in the Palazzo Communal? Am I? Or am I? Oi! Look at the map, mate. Map. Mate, mate, mate. Look at the map. Look at the map. Wow, I actually did. Okay. Can you turn around as well, please? Turn around as well so I can have a look at the actual building itself. Is it the Palazzo Communal? I mean, it must be. It told me it was, but I thought that was the thing in the north. Ha! <laughs> The thing in the north. A bit like the king in the north, but the thing in the north. The thing in the north. Go on, a little bit more. A little bit more. To oh, no. Oh, it must be. It looks like a big building. It must be the Palazzo Communal. It must be. Ooh, oh. Oh, dear, there's guards. Yes, you're on my rooftops. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Am I panicking? Am I... Oh, I was an archer as well. Oh, and he knocked me off. What am I going to do? Ha! Huh? <laughs> Tried to jump on the same thing as me. Oh, arrow to the... Neck? <laughs> Come on, quickly. Oh, no. And again, quickly. I got him. I got him again. I got him in the kneecap. He used to be an archer before he took a throwing knife to the knee. Go 
One day I will, maybe, but not just yet. Ah, I'm probably gonna have to edit this in as well, just to make sure it's all right. Oh no, it's gonna be another hour. Such a long episode. Have it. And I want to get out tonight as well. Oh, it's gonna be so hard. This is, this is so hard. It's difficult. Oh god, you got back up. Well, come on then, I'll take you all on. Cut him off, don't cut him off. Cut, cut you off. That's it, go on, kill him. Oh. Ooh, well, painful. Oh, Dr. Volcano, hide for cover. I don't have one. Right, he's fleeing. I like it when they flee, but I hate they give you notoriety for it. It's like, I will forget your face, don't worry. And across the throat. There we go. Inside we go to this codex page. This is a codex page. Oh, I didn't think it was a codex page. I thought codex pages were supposed to be in the centre. I mean, happy it's, I'm happy it is a codex page. I like the codex pages. But it's not. Abisi di San Miraculi. Miracula. Miracubali? Good. There's loads of treasures on the map, as you can see. I don't know where I'm going to first. I can hear something like a feather. Is that what I'm going to? Oh, it is. Oh, it is. It actually is. What a chance of that. That was totally not planned. That was entirely a coincidence. That was entirely a coincidence. Promise it was. I mean, I suppose I should have realised because I think I'm putting the markers where the feathers are and just walking around until I find a treasure chest. I think that's how I'm doing it. I think that's my logic behind all this. Sounds about right. Ah, oh dear. Close blitters. 48. Only two more. Then we get something. Although we don't get it now. We get it when we drop the feathers off. Which will be on Monday. Tomorrow. It is tomorrow, isn't it? Yeah, it is tomorrow. <laughs> Had to think. Ah, blue door. What is behind the blue door? Interesting coloured door for this time. Didn't know it was a council house. Oh, I've missed. I should have held on circle. Hello, sitters. I don't say goodbye to you later. I'll just leave it, I think. But hello, anyway. Nice to There's never a blue door. What is with these blue doors? <gasps> this is a conspiracy. It's a conspiracy. There's something about these blue doors. <laughs> oh, chilly now. I've gone all cold. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. <sighs> He's going to shoot me. Sorry, I'm quiet there for a second. Didn't kill him. I hate it that one doesn't kill them in one shot. It's annoying. I just want to kill them with, two sh with one shot. One shot to do the dicks. 49. One more and I've got it. Oh, no, don't you dare fall down there. I'm not walking all the way back. I ain't walking all the way around just to get back in the city. I ain't doing that. That's painful. That's painful for Tommy and to you. I mean, your legs will be killing after. And you'll be all wet and soaking from the river. Or flood, I can't tell. It's impossible to tell. Another blue door. Is that the same blue door? It might be the same blue door, actually. Now that we're walking away, we'll have a look, see if it is if a thing or if it's just a do you know, just just a thing. No, what colour door is that? That's a different colour door. It looks like it's a plain brown door, or black door. I can't tell. It's a bit dark. Maybe green, even a green door. It's like a dark green. What am I doing? Something that I didn't want to do. Although there is a ladder there, so that's a bit of a bonus. It may take me longer to get back up, but at least I've got a ladder now, so it'll speed it up a little bit. <gasps> blue door! What is behind the blue door? Tell me. What is you hiding behind your blue door? Rocca di Ravellino. 
which is behind me, which I can't quite see. I'm not going to look at it. I've got a feather. That's good. It's always good. Yeah, it's the big castle behind us. Oh, we've got 50, haven't we? <gasps> we've got 50. That means we're going to get something when we drop them off. Villa. He is. <laughs> Don't look at me, guard. Good. What we got around it? I saw... Oh, that wasn't a pigeon. It was a bit of leaf floating in the wind. Because the answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. And he's dead. Never to go home to his family. I'm sorry. Is that another blue door? It's another blue door! What is behind the blue door? I'm so confused and I want, really want to know what is behind the blue door. Where am I going? Have I got all the feathers? Have I got all the feathers? I don't think I've got all the feathers. I'm trying to work out what I'm doing. Into the garden, out of the garden. Because they are called gardens, I don't know why, it makes no sense. I have never seen a garden like that in my life, and I don't expect to see any more in, in the future, so I don't know why. I mean, why? Why are, they, why are they like that? Why is it like that? It's more like a private seating area. Or oh, it's an old-fashioned phone booth. <gasps> it's an old-fashioned old phone box, that's what it is. That is definitely what it is. I'm calling it now. It's an old-fashioned phone box. There we go. Okay. Okay. Where am I going? Where's my, where's my thing? Where's my cursor? Did I put my cursor on the map? I didn't because I'm going to kill them. Even though they saw me coming, I still managed to kill two. Still two captains left. It's always the captains left. I think I use a smoke bomb and then kill them like that. That's it. Stabby, stabby. And you too, sir. You're going to get a blade in your gullet. That's it. Good night. Good night. Sleep dead. I'm going to loot this room now. It's another codex page. Why are they not in the centre? I'm sure they were like, on the other side of the desk, like... Where that carpet is, like there. Why are they not anymore? So confusing. <laughs> I need this game to be consistent. Don't like change. I want to break that down, but I know he's going to come after me. Ah, he's going to come after me. Yeah, he is. Damn it. You are, what do you say? I am crazy. Yes. <laughs> Maybe crazy. Maybe just a little bit crazy. <sighs> Maybe I've gone mad because this is such a long episode of pointing. We're nearly done though. I can see the end. The end is within sight. Oh, bugger. <laughs> Glory is not yours. You will die in the gutter like a street rat. This place reminds me of like a... What's it called? Is it Duskan? No, not Duskan Dale. Something... I don't know what it's called, but it's from Dishonored. The city, like with the like the sort of the flooded area with the water, just need rats all walking around. Oh damn it! Come on. That's it. Got it in the end. Too much trouble than it probably was worth, but still. Yeah, I've decided I won't be able to do podcasts today, so hopefully I'll be able to get it out on time. In fact, that is probably the next video I'm going to put up because this is out on Sunday, which is tonight. Oh, I keep forgetting this is out tonight. It's going to be so late. So late. It's so late, my late lateness is going to be... I'm going to get a... a I don't know, what do you get for being late? A fine. A fine. A video fine. Oh, can you imagine that? It's like if you say a video is going to be one day, if you don't, you have to pay a fine. That'll be sad. Right, catch. Oh, I did. That's it. And I'm going to jump into water, I think. Yes! Swim time! I want to go to the swimming lesson, George. I don't know why I try and do that again. I know he's right there. It's just going to put exactly the same. 
I should have killed them first. I might not have even got any notoriety. I think I would have done though, because I've got looks like I've got two little blocks. And I am hoping it would come back, but it didn't. No, it is still on the map. It is still on the map, that's why I look. But it's all in grotesque amusement. What are you talking about, you fool? Look, Eminem, I do not have the time for this. You have some rather stripy stocks though. <laughs> Hello, wild thieves. Just going to rip this poster down. Good. Finally get rid of that. Glad I'm getting rid of that. Oh dear me. Oh, come on, you can get up the bear wall. Not easy. Very difficult. I can't I need to point the camera at the right angle, then climb up. I can't just climb up anywhere. Oh, what is life? Can't just do anything I want to in a video game. There's a pickpocket. I hate them. Do I notice? I don't think I noticed. I must notice now, yeah. Yeah, I think I noticed. <laughs> I did. I did. I'm going towards him. Stay back. Not to make me kill you. I really want to drop down onto one of them. Because I've done it before. Where they're on the ground and you're on the rooftops. And you see them. You can target onto them and drop onto them. It's like... You might have seen it before. Like there, like that, that. You jump onto them like that. But I can't do it there. I got you, son of a... You son of a thief! You can steal money, but not mine. Or anybody else that's innocent or anything like that. Steal a master thief's money. That is how you become a truly great thief. Or steal from great thieves and then you become a master thief. I think that's how it works. 52 out of 100, we're over halfway. The rest of them are in... Where are we going? Venice. Because Venice is like the... I wouldn't say, I don't know if it's the, the golden jewel of Assassin's Creed 2. I think maybe Florence might be. I think it's between Florence and Venice about which is the mar you know, the crown jewel city. The jeweled city. I mean, Venice is very nice. And I'm guessing, I think maybe Venice, yeah. I'm going to say Venice is. Fall is probably close, a very, very, very close second. Perhaps even a joint first. Then I would say perhaps... I don't know if I would say Fawley. Because Fall is not that big. As in, in like, the story and stuff. Oh, no, I think maybe then Tuscany, because it's like the outside as well. Then I'll probably say... I'm not exclu I'm excluding Monterey Journey, because that's that's different. Then I'd say... Where else, where else have we got? Is that all of them? I think it might be all of them, wouldn't it? Florence, Tuscany, Forley. Yeah, I think that's it, Venice, yeah. I think it is. Maybe. We're nearly done though. I can see it's less than a, f a, thumb, a thumb space away. At least it is on my screen. I think, you know, maybe. No, uh, it might be two actually. Uh, yeah. This is how I judge how long a video is left. Okay, so we're 20 thumb spaces in. We've got 30 thumb spaces left. Damn. Video nearly done. Excuse me, people. Peep. Whoa, that guy is juddering. He's like, oh my god, he touched me. He touched me. What am I going to do? <laughs> No, what is it? It's like, um, oh, there's a thing here. There's definitely a thing here that I could say, and I don't know what it is. Oh. What am I trying to think of? I'm sure... Oh, it didn't seem any good. I'm sure I'm thinking of, like, a TV thing or something like that, where that's the sort of thing, like, something happens and they sort of vibrate madly, and, like... Oh, it's maybe it's electrocuting as well. Oh, what is it? What is it? What are they? What am I saying? Come on. Think, think, head, think, 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 think. I think Winnie the Pooh. Think, 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 think. Think. Oh. What is it? It's like, it literally, like, it vibrates madly and sort of like jumps up and down. And I'm sure electricity is involved somehow. What am I thinking of? Oh, this is annoying. I've nearly done this episode as well. I need to think within that time. Can't think. Oh, um. Ah, uh, what is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? <laughs> Maybe it's a mouse? Is it a mouse? I don't think it's a mouse. It might have been a mouse. Oh, I don't know. I've got seconds left. No, I don't know. I'll remember this and I'll start off the next episode. I won't be the next one, but I'll be starting off something. I'll be going. It was. Oh, I can't remember. Oh, what was it? This is annoying me. I'm just checking to make sure I've got everything and I think I have. Oh, what is it? What is it? Oh no, this video's gonna end soon. I must think of it quickly. Oh no, what is it? Oh, it's annoying me. Come on, what is it? Oh no, I remembered! It's. 